Tonight we're learning more about why the principal of Madison High School decided to ban cell phones on campus. Students reacting to the news by then trying to stage a walkout today. That prompted school leaders to lock the campus down. Devon Rahman in the newsroom with new video and information tonight. Devon? Well, Lynn, students tell us there were at least a half a dozen fights on campus this week, sparking a new cell phone policy, which tonight many students are speaking out against. These cell phone videos shared with us by students at Madison High School capture the brutal beatdowns many students have witnessed this week. There were a lot of fights that happened. It was mostly the same people. The same people with one root cause, according to the school's principal. Cell phones have been at the center of fights that have broken out at our school. Leading school leaders to take drastic measures banning the use of cell phones on campus starting next week, as was shared through an audio message sent to parents Friday. Any student who brings a phone to school will need to turn the phone in at the front office at the start of the school day and pick up the phone at dismissal. It's a move school officials say is being implemented in the name of safety, which some guardians and students find rather ironic. For the student safety and all overall, I think it's not, it's not fair at all. Parents need, need to be able to contact their children. There's something going on. Several students walked out in protest of the new rule Friday, forcing an immediate lockdown, which for seniors like Amba Adoge came as a surprise. They are making a lot of rules that they don't know how to enforce. They're putting in more restrictive, more oppressive rules that with stricter consequences that everyone knows is really not going to play out well. Now, the school or the district hasn't really said how they plan to enforce this new rule. They will, however, have extra support from HISD police on campus next week, working to keep everyone safe. Lynn. Quite a story there, Devon. Thank you.